We are live on YouTube. We are live on Instagram. We are live on Facebook. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I hope everybody at home can see me and you're all having a good time out there. So today we have a build session set up for you. It is going to be righteous. I'm really sore from our burn session on Tuesday, sore from the build session yesterday. Man, I'm really feeling it. Do me a favor, George, if you could just tilt back this, you know, just the, the laptop piece, like tilt back the uh, screen portion of it. Slowly, a little bit more. Perfect, right there, excellent. All right, so I'm in a good place right now. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun today. Just to give you guys an idea, inside of the app, you have the main session that's already set up. If you have the materials to make that happen, just go ahead and do that. If you've got the barbells, if you've got the racks, if you've got the dumbbells, just do the version that we have inside of the Body Culture Coach app. If you do not have dumbbells, barbells, bands, tubing, and all that. Today we're gonna to do the at-home version. Now remember, this is a build session. So our goal is to build a little bit more lean, tone, functional muscle. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna slow it down again today to focus on that so that way we can see uh, a little bit more functionality out of these sessions versus just, and I'm talking about muscle function uh, in terms of increasing hypertrophy, as opposed to just constantly doing cardio, right? We want the best of both worlds. So today's session, as you see inside of the app, we have it outlined. Uh, we're starting off with a T push-up. The T push-up looks like this. We are going to get in push-up position. We're going to lower, come up, and open up into a side plank. That's your T. Come back down, do the same thing on the opposite side. Look at my feet, how I rotate to the side. That's our number one exercise. Number two is going to be a plank reverse fly. This is to work a bit more of our core, our shoulder, but also our back. Kind of tough to work your back if you don't have a band. Kind of tough if you don't have a, an equ equipment at home where you have a suspension system that you can pull your body towards. So this is the best way for us to work our back. We are going to get in this plank position. Hands are close together. And we are going to just reach through and fly open. Squeeze your back on each one. Get your shoulder blade to drive towards the spine. B1 is an eccentric push-up. An eccentric push-up as we've been talking about in previous episodes, is where we're slowing the body down as much as possible. So what we're gonna do in that eccentric push-up is get in that push-up position, slowly lower, slowly lower, slowly lower, slowly lower, all the way. You can break form, get back into the push-up, and then start again. If we're doing a regressed version of that because we can't keep that form, then what I want you to do is, it's really simple, I want you to start on your knees, straighten your hips out, your hands are underneath your shoulder blades, your head is straight, slowly lower, slowly lower, slowly lower, and perfect. Now what I need you to do on your push-ups is I need you to keep your arms closer to your body at about 45 degrees, maybe even a little bit more. It's never good to do a push-up in a position where your arms are here and you're moving towards the floor. That could cause a lot of grinding and shoulder impingement. You're gonna get some numbing in your fingers. You're gonna probably feel a little bit of numbing or tension in your neck if you continue to do this form. So bring the arms down here in the push-up. What this looks like facing forward in this position is I'm here, my elbows are in towards my body, and I slowly lower, slowly lower, slowly lower to the floor, I break form. And then I could be on my knees doing the same thing, but keep your elbows a little closer to your body as you lower. Now, there is a way to do this push-up um, 
in the full position, right, without lowering all the way to the floor. It's another regression. George, do you mind handing me that box over there? So when we do this with a box underneath us, you could use a set of books. Um, you just need something that creates space between you and the floor. So I'm going to demonstrate this. Um, something happened to our Instagram. Yeah, so we just need to go, yeah, click on the, hold on a second, guys. We're going to continue. Click on the top portion of this over here. Hold on. We lost that feed. We go right here. We got to go to live. Click on live. Let's just leave it as it is. All right. So whenever we're doing the push-up, we're back, guys. Sorry about that. Um, whenever we're doing the push-up portion of this, you want to maybe place a box underneath you. And when this box is underneath you, I can put my hands on both sides, get in full push-up form, straighten my body out, and I'm going to slowly lower, slowly lower, slowly lower, and then rest my body on the box, break form, and then start again. You choose the version that you want to do today. It's totally up to you. So that was B1. B2 is our one gallon rows. Now, I have two containers here that are these detergent containers that we have typically for a body culture studio. And I'm gonna be doing the row with these, okay? But I'm also gonna add a version, which is if you do have a band at home, what you can do is you can stand on your band, hold on to these bands like so, grab onto your containers, assume the position which is hips are back, chin is tucked, your back is straight, okay? From this position, you're going to drive Squeeze really hard and lower the weight slowly back towards the floor. You're going to drive, squeeze your back, your shoulder blades together and lower slowly. Now listen guys, when you do this, what's really awesome about this is you don't have to have a lot of heavy weight. If I really focus on that thing that you've probably heard, which is called the mind to muscle connection, what ultimately is gonna happen is you're gonna create a hell of a lot of intention within those little motor units, within those little motor units that are connecting to the actual muscle fibers. So think about this. Sometimes you might be moving in a way where you have heavy weights, but your mind to muscle connection just isn't there. And that means it doesn't matter if you have heavy weights or not, because if your head's not really connecting with every square inch of muscle fibers that are moving throughout that motion, it's a waste. You can get a lot of effort out of just this alone. So if I only have this and I don't have the band or I don't have dumbbells, still do this. You can really get sore from just using these gallon jugs. And I'm sure I'm going to be sore later. So I'm going to pull, I'm going to squeeze. That is where the soreness, that is where the real intensity comes in from. Squeezing through and then slowly releasing. Pull, squeeze hard, and then slowly re release. All right. So that was B2. Don't laugh, George. Get those muscles, boy. Now, <laughs> yeah. Woo! Okay, Just now. kidding. All right. C1. We have what's called a Turkish getup. Okay, so in the Turkish getup, here's what we're looking at. So this is a full body movement. It engages a lot of our core, which is the entire body. So I hope you guys can see me. I think so. Good. Now in this position, what's going to happen is I'm going to lay down. I'm going to grab my gallon jug and I'm laying down in this position. Okay. Now from this position, what we want to do is this left knee is bent, the left knee is facing the ceiling, my left arm and hand is facing the ceiling as well. My right arm is at 45 degrees, not way up here, not down to my side, right in the middle. I am going to push 
and reach through it. Roll over to my forearm for a step one. I'm still punching to the ceiling. I'm going to push away from the ground, chest up. My knee's still facing towards the ceiling. Now, that was phase two. Step three is to bridge completely through the movement. Step four is to stand up at full attention. Now, I have to reverse this. I'm going to reverse all the way down, bring my hand out to the side, pushing my hip out. I'm going to go back to that bridge position. I'm going to bring my glutes to the floor and roll back down from hence I came. All right. That is the full Turkish get up. You will see a full demonstration of this in your app. You might have the half version, but today I demonstrated the full version. Now, C2 is a YTLW raise. We're gonna work our back again. It's hard to work your back in a body weight workout if you don't have the right equipment. But I think quite a few of you probably have these things laying around. And this is all you need. You do not want to go heavy on a YTLW. I'm gonna assume that bent over position again. I'm gonna push my hips back. From this position, I am going to go into Y formation. I'm going to pull my arms, my shoulder blades into T formation. I am going to release into L, and then I'm going to pull into W. That is Y, T, L, W. So Y, T, L, W. Y, T, L, W. All right, I'm down and then they'll just flop their arms around, okay? You gotta work on getting tall posture. Push your hips back, tall posture, tall posture, tall posture. Stay in this position, and then go to Y, T, L, W. Now, once you have that done, you might say, mm, my lower back is getting really tight. My lower back is getting really achy, it's burning. That's not a bad thing if you're in the right position. So you can weather it a little bit more and try to push through until you complete all the reps. Or what you could do is, after I've done maybe a few reps of this and my lower back's on fire, just come up, squeeze your glutes, relax a little bit, and then you can go back and finish out every single rep that is scheduled. D1 is a dip. We're going to use a bench for our dip. Now, I do have to tell you, when it comes to dips, we are not super thrilled about them. Because unfortunately, in a dip, as you see when I demonstrate, it can put you at a mechanical disadvantage. But some individuals out there swear by it because they want to see more tries, okay? So this is a really great exercise to work your triceps, as well as a portion of your delts, which are right here. Your tries are right here. But unfortunately, you have to decide, is this a, a, a movement that has a great risk or a great reward? And here's a safe way to do it, a safer way to do it. So I have a bench. You might use a chair that doesn't tip over. You might have some object that doesn't tip over. I could put my hands directly next to my hips. I inch my butt away from the bench a little bit. My feet are forward slightly. I'm going to lower partially, and then I'm going to push all the way through that motion. And you can see my triceps are working in that motion. I don't want to go this deep because look at my shoulder in this position. It's in a compromised position when I go that deep. That can cause a lot of problems, and you're not going to like how that feels. So I recommend for us to do really high reps in the partial motion versus going really deep on this. Also, if you are a beginner, this is not the exercise for you to start experimenting with going really deep. So listen to what I say, stay in the safe zone, keep it up high, and just do more repetitions. All right, number two is the Superman. Last but not least, our Superman, our superhero, our superwoman is gonna look like this. So from this position, I am face down. My toes are tucked under. They're not this way. My toes are tucked under like so. My chin is tucked. And I'm going to raise up. But I can add to it. Pull the arms down, squeeze the back, and push the arms up. Pull the arms down, squeeze back, push the arms up. 
for a total of 12 reps. That works our entire posterior, hamstrings, glutes, lower back, and upper back when you pull through that motion. Another way to really work your upper back. You're gonna feel this tomorrow. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the music on, and I'm gonna go through one to two rounds of this workout with you. I want you to gather all your materials together, and let's get this started. Let's go for let's two, go for two rounds. Two to three, though, I think, would be nice. All right, here we go. Where's my music at? I think you, uh... Turn my music off, buddy. It's all right, we'll keep off the music. Maybe George will sing for us. <laughs> George, do you know any songs? No. no. All right, so A1 and A2 we're starting off with. We're doing the T push-up, and A2 is the plank with the reverse motion. Okay, by the way, with that reverse motion, you could use a dumbbell in your hand. When we do that, I'm going to go through those two variations. All right, starting with the T push-up, it's a little bit more explosive. So here we go. My feet are apart. We're in this position. I'm going to lower and push through. One. Lower, push through. Two. Keep your hips up high. And three. Take your time on the down portion if you're not comfortable with this. I'm going to demonstrate a regress version for you hi, of Jenny. this as well. Jenny says hi. Josie says hi. What's up, guys? Lucia says hi. Breathe. Keep the hips up. Open your body up. And not sure where I'm at. And good. Now, we're going to go into the plank side raise. I'm going to do the more advanced version with the dumbbell so you guys can see what that looks like. This will add a little bit more resistance to that back motion that we were talking about. Hands are together, feet are apart, reach through, open up, reach through, open up. Try to keep your body as straight as possible. Push away from the earth. Ten, eleven. 12. All right. Now what happens is when you are holding that one arm, that one arm is on fire, especially after you do those push-ups. So don't underestimate this exercise. Hands are together. Feet are apart. Reach through. One. Now on round two, I'm gonna show you a T push-up in the modified position. It's gonna look a little different because you can't really move your entire body through it. But if we don't have enough upper body strength to make that happen, this is going to do. So, if you're on your knees, separate the knees. Little rotation. Get in a position that feels comfortable for you. All right. Now we're going to go into the plank reverse fly without the dumbbell. Good. Woo! That shoulder's on fire right now. If you're not doing this, let me tell you something. I'm going to be really upset because I don't want to suffer alone. All right, let's do that other side. All right. One, connect with your breathing. If anybody missed the video from the beginning, check the YouTube cha channel. It's going to be posted there from the very beginning, just so you guys know. Uh, uh, woo! Man, my shoulders 
thresholds are on fire. So that means later, when we go into the eccentric push-up and the row, my upper body is buzzing right now. So it's primed. And if I spend a little bit less time on the rest, I can increase the intensity. But remember what I said earlier. If you are focused on hypertrophy, if you are focused on building more muscle, you want to take a little bit more of a rest in between, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a little bit of water. All right. So getting ready for the next, we are doing those rows. First set, I'm going to use the one gallon containers along with the rubber band that I have. If you have dumbbells, use your dumbbells. If you have a band, attach your band to make more resistance out of it. Once I finish the first set, I will do the lighter version. And this is super set with the Turkish getup. So one thing I didn't mention in the video is the rep scheme. That is posted inside of the app. So you can see how many reps you should do inside of the app. If you're not inside of the app, then, well, I don't know what to tell you. No, I'm kidding. Thomas at bodyculture.org. T-H-O-M-A-S at bodyculture.org. And let me know you need an invitation to the app. All right, so I've got my bands on. Got my gallons ready to go. Let's do this. Slowly lower. We're going for 12. Listen to how I connect with my breathing. Slowly lower. When you come up, jam those muscles together. Jam them together. Straight at the earth. Look straight at the ground. Ah. Jump, Tommy. Ah. Ah. Chest up a little more, though. Ah. I'm comfortable with my form. Ah. I think that was 12. All right. Now we'll go into the Turkish getup. If you guys don't think this can do much for you, there's sweat flying off of my body right now. You are so wrong. Uh -huh. All right. Turkish get up. This one can be intense because it is a full body movement. So we're doing six on each side with this. So I'm going to fold, push, bridge, windmill to 90-90. Stand tall, reverse, windmill back, reach, loop through, one. Shoulders will be on fire. You're holding this up the entire time. How many was that? So two more. Hi, Rashawn. Good job, Thomas. Very nice. Good. All right. Off to the side. Even just using body weight will be a set. We'll be fine for this one too. If you guys want to do that. 
or use a can if you need to. It's not to be too, too heavy. We'll use forming technique, nothing crazy. Good job, Thomas. And the key is to go slow. Don't rush through this motion. Arms fully up at attention. It's kind of easy to check out during this exercise. Arms up. Arms up next to the ear. Arms up. I don't know how many I was. Do one more. When in doubt, do one more. Always. That's what we, Luigi said yesterday. Always. Because that's what George says. <laughs> Arms up. Your arm's going to want to check out. Don't let it check out. All right. That's that Turkish get up. Next version we'll do just with the gallons. Again, mind to muscle connection. You want to connect and squeeze with your muscles. Michael Scott says hi. So Mike. So Mike. Ah. Who's interrupting my session? Ah. Ah. Woo! Let me tell you something. You will feel your lower back fire up. Calm down. It's gonna be okay. Okay, a lot of people want to opt for a version of that that is less strenuous on the back. So I'll show you right now. If you want a, a version that's less strenuous, but I will warn you, you need to condition your lower back to be able to handle these positions. These are positions in life. So in this position, I have the bench. I'm still going to push my hips back, keep my arms straight, and I'm going to Pull through the motion, squeeze with maximum intention, and then lower slowly. I'm going to pull and squeeze with maximum intention and lower slowly, okay? Using a bench will help take some of that load because you're using the opposite hand as a base of support and your opposite leg is supported by the bench as well. Without the bench, I'm forced to use my entire body to engage through that motion. That's what we want to be able to achieve without the bench. Will mean that you can develop a stronger lower back area, okay? So we have that Turkish get up again. So we're gonna do a couple sets of those. I know this might look kind of boring, but hang in there, we're gonna get through this. So we're going to punch, push, push, loop through, Stand tall, stand tall, return, reach, loop through, lay down, punch, push, push, loop through, stand tall, stand tall, reverse, reach, loop through, lay down. Three, four, you have to adjust because every time you do this, your body's going to scoot in a different position.
After starting this, guys, my body is feeling great. How about you? How's your body feeling? I know by the end of this, I will be shredded. I will be ready for the mountains because I'm not a beach guy. Okay, opposite side. Punch, push, push, reach through, stand tall, stand tall. Reverse, reach, loop through, lay down, lay down. Punch, push, push, reach through, stand tall, stand tall. Reverse, reach, loop through, lay down, lay down. <laughs> Woo! Push. Everything comes together. Everything synchronized. If you guys have any questions for Thomas or myself, feel free to, to uh, jump in. Put in the comment section, please. All of this will become fluid. At a certain point, you don't have to be so mechanical, and you could just flow through the Turkish getup to make it one nice fluid motion. But in the beginning, we make it a bit more mechanical so you can understand and break down those steps. Last one, arm up, fluid. All right, hallelujah. Now, let's give you guys an idea. I could do that with considerably much more heavy weight. But I chose to use 10 pounds on that. Even though I didn't use heavy weight, I'm using that for a reason. I am telling you the truth that 10 pounds over time, it's a bit fatiguing. So if it can fatigue me, I'm sure it can be very effective and allow you to feel a little bit of that burn too. So just to emphasize, you don't need a lot when you slow things down. Next, we're going to do YT raise and, and, and eccentric push-up. Okay, I, as you guys can see, you're probably like, if you're paying attention out there, you're probably like, hey, you messed up. You missed an exercise. You're absolutely right. Just caught it. So we're going to start off with the eccentric push-up first, and then after that, I'm going to do the YT raise. Not a bad, you know, not a big deal um, because I'm doing a push and a pull still. So here we go. I'm going to be doing first the modified version of the eccentric push-up. On this, you can see the rep scheme we've laid out already inside of the app. So I'm going to set up. So the eccentric push-up, this is where we're focusing on moving slowly, like I explained earlier. Body is straight. Hands are underneath the scapula. Everything is very straight. Slowly lower. Slowly. Solid. Break out of it. Reset. One. Two. Three. Quality reps. Elbows closer to the body. Four. Five. Six. I want you guys to see that it's okay to use a box. Seven. Eight. Try to lower your upper body more than your lower body. First. Nine. Ten. Two more. 11, 12, all right. You should definitely be feeling that. Now we're gonna to move to the YTLWs. Now the YTLW, again, as I mentioned earlier, is not an exercise about brute strength. It's about finesse. This is about fine 
control over gross ballistic barbaric movement. So that YTLW from the front stance looks like this. We're doing a total of 12. I'm gonna push back, okay? I'm going to go into Y. Squeeze mind and muscle connection into T. L, stay engaged, squeeze here. And W, mind and muscle connection. Y, T, L, W. Y, T, L, W. Y, T, L, W. Y, T, L, W. Y. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe, 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 breathe. Easy in. Your lower back might burn. Stand up, reset, shake it out, continue. Y, T, L, W, Y, T, L, W, one more. Y, T, L, and W. Check this out. When you're doing your Y, T, L, Ws, or any of these motions, you're gonna want to shrug your shoulders up to your ears to do the motions. Try to consciously push your shoulders away from your ears. Pull them down while you're doing your Y. Pull them down when you go into T and when you're doing the rest of the motions, or else you're gonna get a lot of fatigue in your upper trap. Now that's fine if you don't mind having these nice big bulging traps or these knots in your traps that you probably already have from spending all this time on the computer all day long. But if I was you, reduce that stress on the shoulders on the traps by pushing the shoulders down a little bit and then going through the motions. Try to create control out of that. Now the next exercise we're gonna do is dip combined with the Superman. So I showed you the dip earlier. I'm using a bench. Whatever object you are using, I would like you to make sure it's something that's sturdy. So this way when you are on the edge of this, you do not end up tipping over the object. Okay, so remember what I said earlier about doing partial squats, I mean, sorry, partial reps for the dips. So it's important for you to understand that, you know, sometimes you might say, like, go deep, go all the way. This is not about that, this is about safety. If you feel comfortable going deeper, I listed reasons earlier you shouldn't go deeper. If you feel comfortable going deeper, that's on you. Now, for today's demonstration, I'm sticking to much higher reps to work the back of the triceps, a little bit of the shoulders, but more importantly, to save my shoulders. So I'm in this position right here. I'm bringing my body away from it. I'm going to go into a partial rep and I'm going to flex all the way through. The key here is whenever I flex, I'm gonna really flex really hard. I'm trying to jam my muscle fibers together. I'm trying to create maximum contraction that is how you strengthen those muscle fibers, the actin and the myosin, jamming together. All right, and you can also, towards the end, let's say if you do 10 reps of those, maybe another 10 where you're moving just a little quicker to get some more repetitions in. I'm not sure where I am on it, but it's feeling pretty good. All right, a lot of ways that you can do that, I would say, you're gonna be doing a minimum of Follow what we put in the app, okay? If you're in the app, you're good. Email me at thomas, T-H-O-M-A-S, body, at bodyculture.org if you are not in the app, okay? So we finish our dips. The idea is to do as many of those as you can in the partial reps. The other part of that too, if you really wanna work on seeing improvement and tightness in that area, is ultimately to lower your body slowly slowly and then push slowly and then push and then let's say you can't hang on to that anymore rep it out 
Rep out those partial squats, those partial dips as much as you possibly can. All right. Now, next on that agenda is the Superman. So let's go into a full set of the Superman. Here's what we're doing. Face down, toes tucked under. Point your thumbs up towards the sky. I don't know if you can see me, but point your thumbs up towards the sky. We're going to do 12 in a controlled fashion. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise up, pull down, push up, pull your back together, push away. Three. Squeeze your glutes for Squeeze your back. Five. Squeeze harder. Six. Connect with your breath. Eight. Nine. Ten. Twelve. All right. Excellent. So what I want you guys to do is follow the reps that we lay out in the app. In the app, it might actually just give you a specific number of sets and reps. But when it comes to the sets, again, if you feel like you are working up uh, around beginner and trying to move up from those ranks, you're going to do anywhere from two to three sets. If you feel you're in between, you're going to do anywhere from three to maybe four. And obviously, if you are much more advanced, you know, for the beginning uh, let's say A and B, we can stick to four sets, and then four C1, C2, D1, D2, you can go down to three. But if you just feel like you are a savage animal, warrior, beast, lioness, gorilla, whatever these kids are saying nowadays, mm -hmm. then you could do all four or maybe more. But what we've laid out is more than enough for you to see the development and seeing that toned muscle, or even a lot more muscle, whatever your goal is. All right, if you guys have any questions, I'm gonna stay on for maybe one minute, ask any questions that you possibly have. As an announcement, George's gonna be looking out for some questions, if you can see them, uh, just to make an announcement. So this is wrapping up our week. We are still gonna be doing a Saturday session and a Sunday session. We are taking the rest of today and this weekend to finish uh, all the materials we wanna have for our membership website. You guys are gonna be getting a link to that. It'll be accessed through bodyculture.org. You will find the membership login page on our main website, which is bodyculture.org. And you guys are hearing it first. Um, oh wait, no, I'm just gonna make that a private announcement. So I don't wanna give away the details of what we have planned. Um, for the next few weeks. Okay, beautiful guys. If there's no questions running through, remember, subscribe to our YouTube page. Uh, hit that like button, smash that heart button, share these videos as much as you can. Um, we're gonna be here for you every step of the way. We are not letting go unless, um, for some reason, the powers to be decide to cut off the internet. <laughs> all right, peace and love to all of you guys. Get to the exercise routine, hashtag uh, body culture, at body culture org when you finish your workout so we can see that you are doing it. We're going to have something special when we do our random drawings for individuals that have been doing their workouts. Peace and love, guys. We'll see you later. Bye, guys.